Hey, good morning, everyone. I am Nadia Jones, and this is a 90 day vision transformation challenge. Today is Thursday, so happy Thursday. I hope everyone was able to get some good rest and is feeling good and energized. It's a little cloudy today, but it's still a good day. Um, stay on your affirmations, keep confirming and reaffirming who God says you are. And forget the negative thoughts. Forget what the world has told you. Forget what the enemy um, is saying about you. Forget those thoughts that he's trying to plant in your mind. All right? And get in your word. Meditate on the word of God. And um, feed the spirit as much as possible. Anything, any content that you listen to, any music that you listen to, whatever it is, if it, make sure it's feeding your spirit and not the flesh. Okay, feed the spirit as much as possible. And that leads me into my next point, my, what my message is about today. God has been leading me to talk about heartache. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like a lot of, you know, his children, a lot of God's children are walking around um, stuck in heartache, are walking around unable to enjoy and experience life in the now in the present because they're in a perpetual state of heartache constant constantly ruminating on hurts and pains in their life and i'm here to tell you and i know you've heard this scripture time and time before God is near the brokenhearted, right? You, you've heard it. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, if God is near the brokenhearted, where the heck is he in my life? Why does my heart still hurt? Why am I still in so much pain? Let me tell you something. In order for you to let go of that pain. You have to give God your heart. Now, this is me speaking from experience. Let me tell y'all something. I I walked around with heartache for two straight years. Two straight years I was I lived in heartache. It was just I, I hurt every single day. And it was the most miserable miserable time of my life and i that scripture i need to i'll put the scripture in the, the description but i read that scripture almost every day and i started getting upset i started getting upset with god because I kept asking, I'm like, where are you at, God? I'm, I'm in pain. My heart, you say you were near the brokenhearted, but I'm I'm in pain. This is going, this is two years now, Lord. Two years I've been, every day is a struggle. My heart hurts. Where are you? Why haven't you taken this pain from me? And God didn't say this then. This is something that I picked up on later just just thinking about this recently but what he did show me at, at that time was well listen i am near the brokenhearted but everything that you're doing everything that you're doing in your life right now is feeding your heartache everything that you're doing in your life right now is 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 putting fuel in the fire of that heartache he said that I had to starve the heartache out of me. I had to starve the heartache out of me to get rid of it. And I thought about that and what he showed me. And this is what I discovered that, you know, everything that I was doing in my life, like the my routine, my actions, everything that I was doing was feeding my heartache. Every day I would wake up and I would lay in bed and I would think about <laughs> the current state, my, my, my situation that I was in. And I would just think about it. 
and I and I would say things like I cannot believe this is my life and then I would go back and I would think about the hurt and the pain that I was feeling and just think about all the things that were done wrong towards me you know kept telling myself I didn't deserve this I didn't you know why did it play out like this why did it happen like this I would do that for like an hour before I actually got out of bed then guess what I'm putting on sad music music that is just I'm talking summer walker music like music that's just playing into all of those negative heart breaking emotions all right when I get to work I'm venting and I'm talking about um everything that's going wrong in my life so every listen to listen to me all everything that I was doing was feeding that heartache was feeding my pain okay nothing at, at that time in my life I was doing absolutely nothing to feed my spirit absolutely nothing to strengthen me and connect me closer to God I was praying but I wasn't praying in the spirit and I wasn't really living in truth either I was depending on everything but God but the source okay and so once he made that clear to me once I understood that my actions were keeping me in this this state of heartache I stopped doing all of those things I stopped listening to music altogether and and maybe maybe I went to the extreme but y'all don't understand how tired I was of living in that heartache it was I legit it was two years two years of heartache and on that third year I said I'm not doing it anymore I can't I can't I can't live like this it's, it's not it's, it's it I cannot do it and I stopped and I had that conversation with God and he showed me all these things and I stopped listening to the music that I was listening to I stopped listening to music altogether because I realized that music is nothing but deep meditation and as good as Jasmine Sullivan will sing her songs when you're not in the right state of mind and your heart is not in the right posture you allow yourself to go into deep meditation reaffirming your pain reaffirming all the hurt all the the your negative experiences that's what you're doing when you listen to these songs these sad songs on repeat and it may sound trivial it may sound you know like oh it's not that bad it's not that extreme but it, it really is and I'm not talking down on these these artists they they're talented and they make great music um, but you have to be in the right state of mind to listen to these things to listen to these songs because if you're not you're meditating you're meditating on the wrong things you're reaffirming the pain when you should be reaffirming who God says you are when you should be reaffirming and stirring up the spirit on the inside of you to take control to take back control of your life and start transforming your life into a life that you actually desire to live because as long as you're stuck in that perpetual state of heartache you can never experience and enjoy life the way you were meant to be the, the way God intended for you to do so you have to cut that stuff out whatever TV shows that you watch that feed the flesh this is why I said in my last video the the spirit gives life but the flesh counts for nothing so these tv shows these movies that you watch that feed into that heartache that you're trying to escape stop watching them if you got to cut tv out altogether cut tv out if you got to cut movies out altogether cut movies out it's you have to take it to that extreme because it's life or death and each day you feed that heartache each day you feed this pain that you are in you're you're giving into death you're not giving into life so you got to cut that stuff out so it does have to be that extreme listen man and i know it's not easy i know when you hear those songs i know when you see those tv shows and 
or those movies and they remind you of this that and the third and you want to go there because you've been there but you really got to ask yourself like oh you know what is me if is me going back there right here right now in this moment is that going to benefit me or is that going to take me down memory lane and then and and am i going to get stuck there that 99.9 percent .9 of the time is going to take you down the memory lane and you're going to get stuck there and you're going to be sitting there wondering why it had to go the way that it did so listen you got to cut everything out of your life that feeds the heartache and you have to starve it. You have to starve that heartache out of your body, out of your mind, out of your soul, out of your spirit. All right? Now, but you got to feed yourself something, right? So if you're not feeding the flesh, if you're not feeding that heartache, what do you have to feed? The spirit connect with God if you don't want to cut music out of your life you better put on some positive music you better put on some worship music you better put on some music that affirms who God says you are music that empowers you and you play it on repeat you can have those things playing on repeat because they feed your spirit and that's the only type of content you want flowing into your mind. You don't understand how synchronicity works when you listen to songs, when you listen to music. Your mind, your body, and your soul, it all connects when you're listening to these things. You're thinking, this is why the sad songs are, are you shouldn't listen to them when you're not in the right state of mind. Because you're thinking, you're feeling, you're going back in time. You're going back in time, guys. Listen, you're going back in time when you're trying to move forward. But you're going back in time and you're getting stuck. You're getting stuck in your past. You're feeling the, those emotions that you felt as if you were going through those past experiences right here, right now. And they happened years ago. And you're they're over. They're done. It's in the past. You can't. You're not reliving them physically, but mentally you're doing it every single day and you're wondering why you can't stop feeling hurt and pain in your life so put on the music that reaffirms who god says you are listen to content to motivational speakers to you know life coaches to sermons to read read the books that help you develop as a person and and just my goodness feed your spirit you feed the spirit, you starve the flesh. You feed the flesh, you starve the spirit. The scripture is in Proverbs 17 and 22, I think. A broken, uh, a good heart is medicine or something like that. And then, uh, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Listen. A broken spirit when we live in a perpetual state of heartache our spirits are broken we're not connected with God the way that we should because check this out you can have heartache and a strong spirit and your spirit because it's so strong the minute that you feel that heartache the minute that your heart is broken, it, it it goes and it immediately begins repairing that broken heart. You want to know why it begins repairing that broken heart? Because you're connected to God and you realize the importance of feeding the spirit. So instead of feeding that heartache, you're going to feed the spirit. You're going to feed the spirit. And you're not going to feed into that heartache. You're not going to play those songs. You're not going to you know, get lost in the past and, and, and you're not going to dwell on those thoughts, right? Those negative thoughts. You're going to feed the spirit and God is going to repair that heart. But if you have a broken heart and you also have a broken spirit, listen, I mean, it's, it's that's death.
that really is that just leads to death it leads to death and i know i know nobody wants to die i know we want to live i know we want to be in the present and enjoy life so if you've been struggling with this heartache if you've been struggling if you've been struggling you just find yourself stuck in, in feeling this pain I want to I want to let you know that first you have to give God your heart give God your heart he is near the brokenhearted when I finally understood what that meant like yes God is near the brokenhearted but in order for him to do what he does best restore rebuild renew I have to give him my heart so I had to give God my heart. And I didn't make that connection at the time, but that's exactly what I did. I gave God my heart and I started feeding my spirit and starving out that heartache out of me. But now, in hindsight, I'm looking back and that is what I did. I gave God my heart. So all of you, you have to give God your heart so that you can overcome and, 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 and starve this heartache out of you. Okay, you give God your heart, but he's already near it, but you have to you have to give it to him. Give it to him so he can do what he does. God cannot repair you. He cannot repair your heart if you're constantly feeding your mind and your body and your soul and your spirit the wrong nutrition. You got to get the right nutrition. You got to get the right food to the spirit because you've been on the wrong diet. You've been feeding the wrong thing in your life. That pain, that heartache is so big, it's so strong. And it's, 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 it's taking over your life. And you got to starve it out. You got to starve it out of you. Start feeding the spirit. Cut off everything. Cut off everything that feeds that heartache. Cut off everything that feeds the flesh take it to that extreme because this like i said it's life or death y'all and i know y'all want to live i know y'all want to break free from this heartache because life is beautiful life is meant to be enjoyed i promise you you can feel it you can you can happiness is right on the other side not, not happiness joy joy is right on the other side happiness is temporary but joy is like it's, it's a deeper it's on a deeper level and you get that deeper level of joy of good contentment in life when you can truly connect with God so um man this this message ran a little long um but I just I just felt led to do that because I, I know y'all are hurting out there because I, I was I was once right there where you guys are at in that same position and I got out. I don't hurt anymore. I don't have that heartache anymore. I can, I listen to music again. I, I I didn't listen to music for two years straight. I didn't watch TV. I still don't watch TV. Um, I cut off all the Netflix shows. I, I mean, I wasn't watching anything. The only content that I was get putting into my spirit was was things that fed the spirit. If it didn't give me life, if it didn't feed the spirit in me the holy spirit if it wasn't reaffirming who god says i am i didn't want to hear it i didn't want to be around it and that goes for people too folks that weren't that were feeding the flesh i had to stay away from them folks that live in victimhood i had to stay away from them folks that always you know got something negative to say or always got a problem always got an issue i had to stay away from i don't want those i don't want th those type of issues in my life i don't want to be a person that always has a problem i don't want to be a person that every time you come around me i'm telling you about a crisis in my life i don't want that i had to get away from people like that and y'all got to do the same thing take it to that extreme get your life back you got the power to transform your life take it into your hands and and just man take it into your not your hands give your heart to god and place it in god's hands all right just do your part by feeding the spirit because we are in control of what we allow into our minds 
we are in control of what we um of what we uh, watch of what we listen to of the people that we are around the environments that we put ourselves in do your part and put yourselves around the right people in the right environment listening to the right things and feed the spirit and starve out that heartache out of you now that's all I have for y'all today I hope that helped and you know broke some ground for for anyone for all of you that are struggling with heartache right now and you just don't know how to get out of it I hope that helped that's how I got out of my my situation um so give God your heart give him your heart all right because he is near the brokenhearted don't ever feel like he is not near because you've been living in pain remember you've been living in that heartache because you have yet to place your heart into god's hands and you have yet to do anything to feed the spirit you've been feeding that heartache that's why it's so big and so strong and so overwhelming in your life right now because you've been doing nothing but feeding it but once you start starving it once you start feeding the, the spirit you'll see You'll see that light at the end of the tunnel and you will escape that heartache. Your heart, God will heal your heart. He will mend it. He will repair it, rebuild, restore, renew and give you double portion. Okay. That's all I have for y'all today. Keep grinding.